Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at a new update that Adobe added called Easy Targets and Headers. All right, this came as a very big re long time request from a lot of users. Uh, Photoshop and, and After Effects have always had the ability to drag with the mouse and select multiple things like the show and hide eyeball and stuff like that. But Premiere Pro didn't until now. So this happens in the header of, of the uh, timeline. And I'll, I want to show you what that is in case you don't know. So this is the header, this section here that's on the left of the timeline. And you may have noticed these little blue things that end up turning on and off. So these are the track targets and these are this is source patching over here. So if I have something selected, then you'll see the source patching show up. This is also one of the number one ways that people get confused with dragging into the timeline because the source patching got turned off. If you're dragging in a video clip and you want video and audio, make sure that A1 and V1 source patching on the left are already selected. This is a, a sequence that I have selected, so only A1 is showing up. Um, and if I click on an audio file, then you see I can't get video. But if I click on a, an, a file with both, uh, which I don't think I, oh no, I've got dialogue. I don't have anything with both. But if I did, you would see V1 and A1 show up. So that's, that's source patching. And over here is track targeting. And you could always hold the shift key down. So if you wanted to select every one of the audio tracks uh, targeting, holding shift and clicking and clicking turns them all on and all off. That's been there for a little while, but people wanted to drag and select. You can if you hold the control key on Windows, command on Mac. So watch this, I'm holding control. I'm gonna start at A2 and just drag down. And I've selected just those. If I hold control again and go back, I'm going to uh, deselect those. Same thing here in the video, selecting some or all of them. Now you can, um, hold down shift and control or shift and command to toggle them. So this will do the opposite. So let's do this. So I'm gonna turn um, these two on. So I'll leave A4 and A5 off. Let's say that there was a, a time when I wanted everything that was on off and everything that was on, off on. So I'll add shift to that. So shift control, on Windows, Shift Command on the Mac, and I'll start dragging on A1, and you see that these two turn on because they're off, off, on these ones. Same thing, and I'll go back and uh, target it that way. And you can see, you can go all the way up and, and on the top. So it's just a, a much easier way to, to turn these on and off. And it's not just the track targets, it's the locks, it's the sync locks, it's mutes, it's solo, whoops, it's solos on and off, same kind of thing. Uh, you can't drag left and right, it's up and down only. Now I wanna show you one thing that, that may uh, confuse you, and that's if, if you're, let's say that you're selecting, you wanted to select a3 and A4 and A2 is selected. If I hold control and click and then drag, I deselected that one. So it does depend on what you're clicking on. Because A2 was selected, all, it, all that happened was is it inverted. If I had shift, um, as I showed before, shift and control or shift and command, then it would do the opposite. So you, you have to be cognizant of what you're clicking on first. If that's selected and then I click on it, then nothing is happening down here. Same if it was, if these were on, if these were on and this was off, so I'm holding control command clicking here, what it's doing is it's adding to those. So I'll do that one more time. I'm not adding shift, I'm just holding control or command clicking here and dragging and it's adding to that this one's locked, so I can't select it. So that's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, to some people, this would be 
huge. This has been a really big request. And if you come from, from broadcast or from film, I've got, what have I got here? Nine tracks of audio, but boy, oh boy, if you're working in a big production, there could easily be 50, 60 tracks of audio and, you know, range selecting that marquee selecting a whole bunch is a lot easier than click, click, click. Click, click. Imagine doing that multiple times a day. If, if this is important to you, then you know uh, it's important. Uh, to a lot of us, me included, I don't work with deep enough tracks that, that this would make a difference. If you're probably a YouTuber just doing interviews, podcasts, again, probably not. If you're doing um, sound design, lots of audio, or lots of stacks of, of composited video, then this is gonna make a difference. It, it's just a good indication that Adobe is listening. They've had this on the list to add to, to Premiere Pro for a long time. And like I said at the beginning, programs like Photoshop and After Effects have benefited from this clicking and dragging to turn things on. And uh, I know when I'm in Photoshop or After Effects and I have lots of layers, I do use it there all the time. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly any amount. We appreciate all of the wonderful folks who donate and support us here. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to look through the beta list of, of things that are coming, and then once they are shipping versions, I only like to do in the shipping versions, I turn it into a tutorial that you might find interesting.